welcome back everyone now that we have a basic intuition about what exactly is a univariate linear regression now let's implement a linear regression model where we will be having one feature and from that single feature we will be predicting out our result so we have a data set so if you want to ever look into the data set it's all provided over here these are the files for the regression section and over here we have a simple linear.csv so if you want to check we have sal that is our feature and one more is temp both are feature so from the sal we have to predict out temp again this is a real world data set so we will try to do a bit of eda i have already cleaned most of the stuff for you guys but as of now let's call it out call out all the important libraries and let's start by doing a simple ed so let's start let's start by importing numpy as np then our pandas library for the csv and let's call cbond this is a visualization library let's import matplotlib then let's see as sns at plot live dot pipe plot as pld and let's do mat plot live in line. Now let's import pre processing from sklearn library if we have to do any kind of pre processing in the data set. So for this video or for particularly for this jupyter notebook i am trying to hard code it from the next videos i'll try to copy the same code again and again so from sklearn we are going to import pre-processing let's check if everything is just fine okay so everything is fine let's toggle the toolbar now let's call out a data set so data is equal to pd dot read csv this will read our csv file so if you are well versed with pandas then you must know about what exactly dot read csv does so this will call out our data set so let's call our data set our data set name is simple linear dot csv let's check so everything is fine let's check the head of the column oops so head is a function so what i do okay so over here we can see that we have an extra column that is unnamed zero and apart from that we only need sal and temp. So what we can do over here is let's drop unnamed. So for dropping this the code for it is quite simple we just have to write data drop columns is equal to I have to mention the column name so let's copy out the column name okay unnamed zero and let's do replace is equal to true let's run this cell and if you want to check data dot head so it's a simple function okay so everything just looks fine now always know that what i am doing right now is part of eda eda stands for exploratory data analysis EDA is something which is mostly what we do about feature engineering. So I'm feature engineering my data to make it in a more stable place where I can play around with my data set and only import things that are important to my data set. So we have these columns. Now let's check us the description of it. So I will just pass describe. Okay, so the cell we have 500 columns for temp we have 500 columns so we don't have any empty values over here mean of sal is 33.62240 and temp is something 7.8 standard deviation is also quite okay min 25 percent of the data is below 33 percent then 50 percent is again 33.7 and 75 percent 75 percent of the data is somewhere 34.13 for sal and for max it is so it doesn't usually is following a normal distribution but as of now let's do with this one 
so probably it should be starting somewhere from zero but what i've done is i've only taken 500 columns so we are not actually following a normal distribution but that works for this data set now let's try to plot it plot out our data so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to plot a scatter plot and i will be passing sal in sal as x axis and temp in the y axis let's pass data is equal to data so from matplotlib i can see that it is following a good trend if you see they are probably in they are highly correlated this is a negative correlation so you can see that whenever the sal increases so let's clean this out a bit plt dot x label and i'll mention that as sal and plt dot y label i'll mention this as temp now how you can read out this data set so for reading this out it is something like this so for a high value of sal okay we have very low temp but for a low value of sal we have very high temp so sal decreases with the increase of temp so this is negative correlation so if you have gone through a statistics course you must be knowing about what exactly is correlation and what exactly is pearson correlation so right now i'm just talking about our pearson correlation so if sal increases temp decreases that's what it tells us the data tells us now what we are going to do is if we were having any empty data so right now we don't really have any empty data but if you ever want to then i can just fill an a and i can pass the method equals to f fill and then pass in place true right now i'm not going to run this cell because i don't really have any empty cell so in place is equal to true and then you can drop out the empty columns too from this drop na and then we have in place is equal to true let's create some new empty cells now the eda part is complete and we have a good look at our data set now the next step what is needed is to break the data set and import our linear regression model now just remember that we are not coding anything hard code for this particular lecture because we don't really need it. sklearn library provides everything and we don't really need to code anything by ourselves so let's catch up in our next video we'll start by train test plate